It's been described as the biggest coordinated industrial action in decades. Half a million people from across the public sector out on the streets or on picket lines in England and Wales demanding better pay and conditions. Among them, some 300,000 teachers on day one of a strike across the nation affecting more than 23,000 schools. New figures show that five in ten teachers qualified over the past ten years have since left the profession because they felt undervalued and underpaid. And the teachers here tell us they don't want to be on strike today, that all they're asking for is more funding for their schools and higher wages. Darren has been a teacher for more than a decade. In 2010, we went into austerity, our pay was frozen, um, and, and we've come out of austerity, about to go back into it again, and, and we're losing out in terms of real terms pay. It's not just about the cost of living crisis. This has been going on for years, and we've had enough. The government has called the walkout unfair to the parents and children, with Education Secretary Gillian Keegan saying inflationary rises will make things worse and that these are unprecedented economic times. The teachers, however, blame government inaction that's ultimately hurting students. It's a, everything has knock-on effects, so they're not funding the increases in pay that they've promised to teachers. So the money is coming out of the school's existing budgets. They're not being given extra pay to pay extra to the teachers. So that means class sizes are increasing. It means that um, we can't take children on trips. The demand for inflation busting pay rises is shared by the hundreds of thousands of others in the public sector, such as the health service, as well as university staff, civil servants and train drivers who are also striking today. More walkouts are planned for the coming weeks, meaning the UK's winter of industrial discontent continues to grow. Saipuriza, Press TV, London.